10 Terrifying Creatures of Jewish Folklore Jewish folklore is known for its thrilling and terrifying tales of monsters that lurk in the night, sea, and forest. These creatures often have their own unique twists on well-known creatures like vampires, genies, and demons. While some of these demons and mythical creatures are popular in today's culture, others may be unfamiliar and even unsettling. To learn more about them, one may need to explore Jewish mysticism through Kabbalah or study Talmudic writings extensively. Nonetheless, this list provides a good starting point for those interested in delving into the depths of Jewish folklore. Number 10. Dibex. In Jewish folklore, Dibex are creatures that possess individuals and are often blamed for causing mental illness. According to the myth, a Dibek is created when a person dies with a large number of sins and roams the earth until it finds a living body to possess. To remove a Dibek, a rabbi must perform an exorcism with the help of ten other men dressed in burial shrouds. The rabbi must ensure that the dibek is released from between the nail and skin of the big toe to prevent any harm to the host's body during the exorcism. The tale of the dibek gained popularity through the 1916 Yiddish language drama film, Der Dibek. In more recent times, an alleged dibek box was sold on eBay. The box was a wine cabinet was believed to be inhabited by a dibek, causing nightmares and misfortune for its owner. The seller, Kevin Manis, created a detailed backstory about the box's origins, which he later admitted was a creative writing experiment. Number 9. Lilith. Lilith is a Jewish folkloric demon that has gained popularity in recent times. She is believed to be particularly dangerous for pregnant women and infants due to her origin story. To the myth, Lilith was Adam's first wife, created from clay alongside Adam before Eve was made from Adam's rib. She disobeyed Adam, spoke the forbidden name of God, often represented by the four letters, YHWH, and was banished from the Garden of Eden. Lilith is mentioned once in the Book of Isaiah and in the Dead Sea Scrolls, specifically in a hymn used for exorcisms. Lilith's modern representation embodies feminine ideals such as equality, independence, and sexual liberation, which contrast with her original portrayal as a baby murdering demon. According to her story, Lilith left Adam due to his controlling and dominating behavior, seeking more freedom. She gave birth to around a hundred demon babies daily and became an enemy of Adam and Eve. However, her defiance against Adam's control and her emergence as a strong female figure have contributed to her current representation. Number 8. Estries, Vampires. Estries were female vampires who fed on Hebrew citizens and were known as night owls due to the French term Strix. They were attractive but attacked without discrimination. According to Thiefer Hasidim, a religious text on Jewish tradition in medieval Germany, Estries were created on the first Friday but were not finished when God rested on the Sabbath. Another account claims they were created at the Tower of Babel and could fly by anointing their bodies with oils. Point one method to restrain an estri is through capturing their hair, obliging them to swear an oath, or hitting them directly. If struck directly, the sole means for an estri to regain their strength lay in consuming bread and salt that belongs to the individual who assaulted them. They also had the power to change their physical form with the aim of persuading somebody into surrendering the nourishment. Despite this adaptability, there are countless instances where individuals succeeded in identifying and eliminating estries, regardless of their altered appearance. Number 7. Nephilim. The Nephilim were giants who lived before Noah's flood and were believed to be the offspring of watchers, angels sent by God to deliver messages, and humans. While some describe them as heroes, there is much debate around the topic, and they are often referred to as fallen ones. The Nephilim were descendants of the fallen angels known as Watchers, who reproduced with humans. The world had become corrupt and wicked before the Flood, and the unnatural Nephilim were cited as one of the reasons for the Flood being necessary. Although they are only mentioned a few times in the Bible, they were formidable giants. Number 6. The Tigris of the Baalai. Legend has it that in the forest of Baalai, there lived a lion named Tigris that was so massive that there was a gap of 9 cubits, or almost 14 feet, 4.3 meters, between its ears. 
When the Roman Emperor Hadrian asked Rabbi Joshua ben Hananiah to show him this lion, the rabbi warned him of its unusual nature, but Hadrian insisted. From a distance of almost 4 miles, 6.4 kilometers, the lion's roar was heard, causing all the pregnant women in the area to miscarry and the walls of Rome to collapse. As the lion came closer, it roared again, causing all the Roman men's teeth to fall out and the emperor to fall from his throne. Fortunately, the rabbi was able to pray for the lion to return home, and it did. This lion is undoubtedly a terrifying creature that one would never want to encounter. Number 5. Shedim. Shedim are spirits or demons in Jewish folklore, but they differ from how demons are described in Christian or Muslim beliefs. Shedim are sometimes seen as a less negative version of jinn, also known as genies. Shedim are occasionally referred to as other gods, which are considered evil because they are not the God of Israel. Shedim are mentioned only twice in the Bible, and always in a negative context. For example, in Deuteronomy 32 verse 17, it says, They sacrificed to devils and not to God, to gods whom they knew not, that were newly come up, whom their fathers worshipped not. The quote devils and gods whom they knew not refer to the Shedim, which always appeared in the plural form. Shedim were later described more like the Arab jinn, and they can be killed with iron weapons. Shedim are more malevolent than fallen angels from the Christian tradition. In Kabbalistic rituals, Shedim are viewed as less evil and more helpful to the person performing the ritual. Some Kabbalistic rituals involve divining the future through intricate steps. Number 4. Golems. No not Gollum from the Lord of the Rings. Golems are creatures made from clay or other lifeless materials, created to assist a troubled community during difficult times. They are believed to be exclusively crafted by knowledgeable Jewish mystics who practice Kabbalah, a form of Jewish mysticism. However, despite their intended purpose, golems often end up causing more harm than good. One notable example is Rabbi Judah Lowe of Prague, who created a golem to protect the Jewish community from anti-Semitic attacks. Unfortunately, the golem became violent and had to be destroyed. According to legend, the golem's remains are said to be stored in the attic of the Altnuschel in Prague, awaiting the day it may be revived if the need arises again, the specific acts of violence committed by the golem are not clearly defined. However, the creation of the golem by Rabbi Judah Lowe of Prague can be seen as a parallel to God's creation of humanity. While God created humans, granting them free will to choose between good and evil, golems created with the intention of resolving negative situations can sometimes exacerbate those very problems, leading to more severe and frightening circumstances. Number 3. The Witch of Ender. The Witch of Ender was a sorceress who was consulted by King Saul, the first king of Israel. Despite Saul having outlawed sorcery in Israel, he sought the witch's assistance. Disguised, Saul asked her to use her talisman to summon the spirit of the deceased prophet Samuel, hoping to gain advice. However, while Samuel accurately predicted Saul's impending death, he could not provide any guidance or assistance in the situation. As foretold, Saul and his three sons died the following day, and Israel fell to the Philistines. This event can be seen as ominously horrifying, as the witch was able to predict Saul's fate but was unable to offer any means of saving him. Number 2. Agrit Bat Malat. Agrit was a demon mentioned in Talmudic literature, often associated with a group of 180,000 destructive angels. It was believed that Agrit would attack on Wednesday and Sabbath nights. Some sources suggest that Agrit Bat Malat may be another version of the demon Lilith mentioned earlier, but she also has distinct references in the Bible. According to legends, Agrit is said to have had a sexual encounter with King David while he was asleep, resulting in the birth of Asmodeus. She is known for primarily targeting men, especially those who are sleeping, and is often compared to a succubus in various texts. Due to her nature, there are strong suggestions for men to avoid sleeping alone on the nights when she is believed to be active. Number 1. Leviathan. The Leviathan is a colossal sea creature described in various Jewish texts. It is believed to be indestructible, although initially, there were two Leviathans, male and female. According to the legends, 
God killed the female Leviathan to prevent them from reproducing and potentially causing destruction to the world. In the concept of Olam Habiye, the world to come in Jewish belief, it is said that the Leviathan will be served as a meal. When the Leviathan is hungry, it is said to produce heat from its mouth, causing the surrounding waters to boil. Its eyes are described as glowing and emitting a powerful light, even above the water's surface. The Leviathan's only known fear is a type of worm called kilbit, which attaches to its gills and can kill large fish. However, these worms are very small and not easily found. Given the immense size and power attributed to the Leviathan, it is advised to steer clear of encountering it.